Hey guys, Eric Bally, your publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be down to the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show right here in beautiful South Florida. I love this show. While I'm here, I'm kind of wandering around and I'm looking for some fun and exciting product to report you guys on. And if I ran across a boat line, everybody in the Great Lakes needs to know about it. It's called Flex Boat. I'm here with Roberto Fox. Roberto, how are you, sir? Good to see you, Eric. How are you? I am outstanding. The president, Jameen Alves. Nice to meet you, Alves. Pleasure to meet you as well, sir. So I'm curious, can you tell us a little bit about Flexboat and what this brand means? Flexboat começou há 32 anos atrás com uma pequena linha de produtos e fomos crescendo gradativamente, melhorando nossos processos a cada dia. E, e hoje temos o orgulho de estar aqui presente no Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Okay. Flex Boat started 32 years ago with a few basic models, kept them growing non-stop, improving processes, until the moment we are proudly representing a longer, a larger variety of models, a big portfolio in the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. I love your boat line. I think they're absolutely stunningly beautiful boats and they compete in this market very well. The boats are made in Brazil. Tell me what's the advantage of owning a flex boat over another brand? Eles gostam muito da nossa marca, gostam muito de muitos modelos, vários são feitos no Brasil. E diga um pouco da vantagem sobre os outros concorrentes. Vantagem sobre os outros concorrentes é design, é, capricho no acabamento, na construção, é, somente produtos de, de boa qualidade são agregados, são adicionados ao nosso produto. Não só usamos o melhor tecido do mundo para fazer a parte inflável, mas também utilizamos os melhores materiais para construir a parte de fibra de vidro, ou seja, um barco para muitos anos. The basic secrets are design, thinking of what would the customer want, and also basically using the best materials. Not only using the best hypolon from Orca, but using the best materials available for the lamination of the hull, for the hardware components overall. Uh, attention to detail, ergonomics, all the things put together. One thing that impresses me, I mean, so much about these boats are you have everything from a small rib that somebody would put off the back of their boat to a very large two, three engine boat like the one Explorer that we're sitting in front of now. Tell us about the range of models that you offer. Fala um pouco sobre a, a variedade da linha. Começamos com um pequeno barco que é utilizado para apoio para os veleiros, como tender de veleiros, que tem seis pés e o nosso maior barco tem 38 pés. Temos a versão cabinada, temos a versão aberta, com motor é, de popa ou com motor de centro. É uma, uma linha bem, bem ampla. We basically started with smaller models, tenders for sailing boats and motor yachts. And naturally, the line grew, the boats grew in size. And we now go up to 38 feet, as you said, up to the 1100, which is 11 meters. Yeah. Uh, either with a cabin version or with an open version. And also for either outboards or stern drives, which in Brazil are still quite popular. Yeah. So we have those options too. So tell me then about the boat that we're sitting in front of. I think that this is a 28-foot Explorer. This is a beautiful boat. Tell us about it. Que que eu falo sobre o Explorer? O 680 é, no Brasil nasceu para atender as Forças Armadas. É, hoje em dia as Forças Armadas também admitem mulheres e, e as mulheres nem sempre tem um, um banheiro a bordo do barco é, para suas necessidades, às vezes fica o dia inteiro trabalhando, então a ideia foi fazer um barco pequeno, que tivesse um abrigo para se passar todo o dia a bordo e que tivesse banheiro para também atender as mulheres. 
A primeira versão desse barco nasceu exclusivamente para atender as Forças Armadas Brasileiras. Esse barco foi criado como uma request por uma das Forças Armadas do Brasil, uma kind of, uh, Coast Guard from the inter, inner waters, okay. inside the country, lakes and rivers. And one of the requests was that they have a lot of women in the forces. And they thought there's always going to be a woman in the crew and we need to give her some comfort. So the boat was born with a very nice head on the bow and the whole cabin to protect the other guys, the other workers for you know during the day whatever temperature rain shine sun whatever they found it and the boat was born for that for military use or heavy duty use and the explorer was the second version it was one of the first boat called the m for military got some additional amenities to become a pleasure version yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's gonna do some additional information yes Sim, e, então o primeiro 680 nasceu para uso das Forças Armadas. É, não tem nada que quebre fácil, tudo é, é muito reforçado é, para aguentar um trabalho intensivo das Forças Armadas. É, depois é, fez muito sucesso e o pessoal de, de lazer, o público de um modo geral, queria um... É, um 680, então nasceu a versão é, de lazer, que a gente chama de Explorer. Ou seja, é, é o mesmo barco das Forças Armadas, mas com mais luxo, né, com espaço gourmet, com luzinha indireta, com luz de cortesia, com todas as sofisticações de um barco de lazer. E aí nasceu o 680 Explorer que estamos vendo aqui na, na feira. Yeah, Jaime is adding that as the boat was born for commercial use for the armed forces, it was built heavy duty from scratch. So all the construction, all the project, all the lamination plan, everything is really heavy duty, really great, reinforced. And this was kept even on the pleasure version. Because after some time, customers started to see, oh, I, can, I would like to consider this for my use, not yeah. for you know, yeah. the Navy or the Coast Guard or whatever. Yeah. So the pleasure use was developed with a gourmet space, as we call it, with a nice place with a bar and a sink, etc. And courtesy lights, some additional luxury details. And that's how the 680 Explorer came up. In the Great Lakes, a boat like this would extend your boating season a month before you normally start and a month after you would normally finish. Você vai poder usar o barco um mês antes, um mês depois da temporada normal nos grandes lagos com barco de cabine. Ah, uh -huh. that's perfecto. So if I'm not able to come to the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, I mean, where am I going to go online to find out more information about Flexboat and the full models that you offer, along with who I can contact to buy one? Onde a gente pode encontrar mais informação e onde a gente pode encontrar alguém para comprar um Flexboat? Não entendi a pergunta não, aonde ele No pode... website? Ah, dealer, sim, né? sim. Sim, no website e com a nossa rede de dealer é, nos Estados Unidos, já temos vários dealers que podem dar todas as informações. E no nosso website você encontra é, o endereço e o contato do nosso dealer. Sim, nós podemos ir para o website, flexboatinternational.com, ver a whole line. And also the page that shows all the dealers. We already have around 10 dealers in the country. Dealers up north, dealers on west, east, coast, everywhere, Florida. So the dealer network is going and they all can show you the boat and sell your boat like this. And that's available, Roberto, at flexboat.com? Flexboatinternational.com. Flexboatinternational.com. Just one word, dot com. Gracias, mi amigo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, always. Thank you. FlexBoatInternational.com, guys, that's where you want to go. Find out more information about an incredible boat line and a dealer near you. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you out on the water.